California's push for more renewable energy took a step forward this week. The federal government is now making it easier to set up and run wind farms like the ones that you see in the Delta. But as KCRA3's David Beenick reports, wildlife may be the price. The same wind that turns the giant wind farms outside Rio Vista is also the one that lets hawks and eagles soar. But every year, about 16 golden eagles fly into these spinning blades and are killed. Poorly sighted wind farms can be incredibly dangerous to birds. We know that poorly sighted farms in California have killed hundreds of protected golden eagles. Wind companies can be prosecuted and fined for eagle deaths, but the government says such cases are often difficult to prove. So now, the Federal Fish and Wildlife Service is trying something new, issuing permits to allow wind companies to legally kill a certain number of eagles without penalty. How will you know that they're not taking more or less? How will you track this? They're required to do mortality monitoring in um, a scientific way and report that to us. The first permit announced this week will allow the Shiloh 4 wind farm, owned by EDF, to kill up to five eagles over the next five years. In exchange, the company will have to invest in technology to make its power lines safer for eagles. If the companies go over their permit limit, they'll have to do even more. Install bright lights and loud noisemakers, maybe even radar that shuts down the wind turbines when birds are near. Some of those techniques are still experimental, and they all cost money. But the hope is more companies will apply for these new permits as a way to stay on the right side of the law and keep the eagles flying. In Rio Vista, David Bean, KCRA 3 News. Golden Eagles are not considered endangered or threatened, but they are protected under federal law, and their population in the Rio Vista area is estimated at more than 500.